Cleveland police officer on trial for killing two unarmed people, Michael Brelo, charged with voluntary manslaughter after a high-speed chase ended in a spray of gunfire. ABC Steve Osinsami is on the scene in Ohio. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. Police say this officer fired a total of 49 times, and he's on trial here for the next few weeks because prosecutors say he reloaded during the gunfire. He faces up to 25 years in prison, is not expected to testify at this trial, and a judge will decide this case. Take a look for yourself. This 22-mile high-speed police chase through Cleveland involving more than 100 police officers, that went terribly wrong. And this morning, one of those officers, a former Marine, is fighting for his freedom. Mr. Grillo, who was the driver of Zone Car 217, fired at least 49 times. Authorities have charged 31-year-old Michael Brelo with voluntary manslaughter for what happened at the end of that police chase after police had already fired nearly 100 shots at the fleeing car. Prosecutors have produced this animation showing the chase, adding the real-time police radio traffic. Listen for the gunfire, the shooting lasting less than 18 seconds. Authorities say Brelo got on top of the hood of the victim's Chevy Malibu in November 2012 and fired 15 times through this windshield. Prosecutors say they have evidence it was Brelo who killed 43-year-old Timothy Russell and 30-year-old Melissa Williams. He's pleading not guilty. I've never been so afraid in my life. In an interview with investigators, Brelo said he thought the couple was shooting back. I thought my partner and I would be in shot and that we were going to be killed, at which point I drew my weapon and I shot to the windshield. But the subsequent investigation could not find any guns the victims may have had. He jumped on the trunk, not because he wanted to be Rambo, but because he was trying to survive. More than a dozen police officers are expected to testify, and the prosecutor says he's already planning to treat them as hostile witnesses, accusing them of trying to protect this officer. And those known facts are, first, the car was still running, and to Brillo's observation, the occupants were still moving. Until then, over 22 miles of driveways, sidewalks, parking lots, streets, roads, and highways, Russell had shown no intention of giving up. He had just rammed car 238, but his car was not so tightly wedged against 238 or blocked by 217, Brillo's car, to keep him from continuing to use the car as a deadly weapon. The possibility that car 238 could have been pushed by the Malibu to pin Grillo, Brillo to the ground was not imaginary. Second, up to three other officers were not convinced by then that the threat was over because three other shots were fired during Brillo's final volley of 15 during the last 7.392 seconds. Third, Sobolik a reasonable police officer praised by the prosecution as having moral strength and courage, expressed a belief at trial that the car's occupants still posed a threat during the last eight seconds. Additionally, Brillo was acting in conditions difficult for even experienced police officers to imagine. He was in a strange place at night surrounded by gunfire, sirens, and flashing lights. He and Moore had fired straight through their own windshield, thinking they were about to be shot and killed. 
serious physical harm to the victims in a constitutionally reasonable effort to end an objectively reasonable perception that he and the others present were threatened by Russell and Williams with imminent serious bodily harm. I therefore also find the defendant not guilty of felonious assault, a lesser included offense on both indicted counts. And the defendant is discharged. Thank you. We're off the record. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.